here is one of my snow globes that I recently got. This one is actually a magnet to stick onto the fridge and as you can see, my kids accidentally knocked it off the fridge, broke the globe, and so I'm gonna be attempting to repair this one. Uh, I did buy a replacement globe on an Etsy shop and we're gonna see how this goes. So, the stopper is intact, and it doesn't even look like the figure, because I said this is pretty new, is detaching from it at all. So I'm just going to clean this up um, with some dish soap, Woo! and then I'm going to get the glass all out of here. Okay, so since the stopper is intact and my bear figure is also intact and glued to the stopper, I removed the one that this one came with and I just wanted to check to make sure that it was gonna fit nicely and it looks like it will. So here we go. Um, I'm actually going to fill this with some water and then um, the YouTube channel I found says to use um, either distilled water and alcohol. Actually, that might be a little too much. We're going to find out. I'm going to pour a little out of that. And then if I want, since I want the um, glitter to fall, not like fully, um, so fast you don't have to put anything in it to slow down the the glitter but I'm gonna put just a little bit of Elmer's glue they recommend like 30% and then I thought that since my base is like a, a like little wooden slab that the bear is sitting on I was gonna do some gold glitter to see if I could match it so and normally for the larger globes they do like an eighth to a fourth of a teaspoon since this is a much smaller globe I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it it up with that glue. Oh, I like it. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna need a little bit. 
get more water. That's probably way too much. <laughs> okay, um, and there are a couple ways to do this so that you don't get an air bubble, but we're gonna do it this way to start with and see how it goes. So first things first, you gotta kinda This is just a little screwdriver to help some of the air and the water whoop, release. And that's not what you wanted to do. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm trying to get this out without completely dumping it out. And I don't wanna break my globe because that would be very sad. to this stopper and try to get this screwdriver in there. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. Okay, so this is obviously my first snow globe repair. Um, there are a couple ways to get the air bubble, see this air bubble out of this um, globe. I'm going to do the submersion method that they taught me. Obviously, you can see underneath my bowl that some of the glitter fell out and the water when I dropped that figurine in there. I now have it in the position where it needs to be. So we're just going to submerge it and let that those air bubbles come all the way out. There's another one. Oh, there we go. It's just kind of... Sometimes, because the figurine can get some air pockets trapped in it, we're just gonna give it a few little taps around the globe to make sure that all of those air bubbles are released. And then, oop, pull the screwdriver out. Look at that. Oh, it looks so cute, it looks like little gold pieces. Old, sweet and it's not falling super fast or super slow which is just about how I like it beautiful okay okay so now that our globe is finished um, being repaired and the figurine is in place we need to seal this bottom part here so that it doesn't get a leak um, later on and hopefully no air bubbles come out of the woodworks and I'd have to open it up again. So we're going to take some hot glue and put it around here and then we will secure it inside the base there. And then I will have my little Park City Bear again. So I have my hot glue gun ready to go. And... Down along the line. Oof. And we're just gonna do Boop. put down along the line. Oof. It's sizzling. I'm not sure if that's because there's some water trapped between the the stopper and the glass. They did say that that can happen sometimes. And for some reason, my glue stick is not wanting to go for. Okay. 
look around for any air bubbles. Oop. are any air bubbles you just kind of pop them you don't want those to become leaks later on and then okay um, I'm just gonna do a thin line of hot glue around the rim here and then we're gonna attach that globe inside. So here we go. And since he goes like this, that's the way we're going to do it. And just kind of squish him down. And let him dry. All right, here it is all finished. Um, unfortunately, I did go and try it on my fridge to see if it still held up. And I think that this globe is actually a bit larger than the original one that it came with, but this was the smallest one I could find. It does match the size of this one, which is my other ones that I also have this size that are broken, so I will definitely be ordering more of these. And this one we can fix today too, that air bubble. Um, we're gonna just fix it. Since we're doing Park City, that's what we're gonna do. So these were both from the exact same trip and it was our our baby moon that we took before charlie was born so i do like to write on the bottom of my globes when i get them or who gave them to me so the bear once specifically says it was a baby moon and then this one just says it was park city so let's fix this one next <laughs> 